For NJ Advance Media, I am Connor Hughes. Well, after a relatively quiet Friday afternoon, the New York Jets are expected to make the majority of their 53-man roster cuts here on Saturday. Not really a choice. They've got to do so by 4 p.m. So as the Jets start to shape their roster, or at least the roster that they will take with them to into the regular season to start it off against Cincinnati, here are three big decisions the Jets are going to have to make. The first one... What the heck are they going to do at wide receiver? You know, the Jets have a nice little group of veterans in Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker and Quincy and Nunwa, and they've got a nice group of young guys like Sharon Peak and Robbie Anderson and Jalen Marshall. Then they've got those middle-of-the-tier guys, Jeremy Ross, who's a proven returner and a guy who's proven valuable out of the slot in the preseason. Kendrell Tompkins, who made a couple plays for the Jets last year and definitely has potential. The good is that they've got a lot of options. The bad is that they can't keep everyone. So a big decision the Jets are going to have to make is of these group of nine, ten wide receivers, which are the six or seven that make it. The second big question the Jets are going to have to answer, what the heck are they going to do at right tackle? See, right now the Jets have Ben Igelana and Brent Quale who are going toe-to-toe, head-to-head, fighting it out to be the Jets' starting right tackle while Brent Giacomini is recovering from that back injury. Uh, Todd Bowles spoke to the media on Friday via conference call, said he still has not made a decision on who's going to be his right tackle. Uh, that's not really the greatest thing in the world. He hopes that, you know, you, you got to hope this team has some kind of solidified answer over there on the right side, but at least right now it's still up in the air. The Jets play Cincinnati in just, you know, well, eight days now, so you know, it's got to hope that they make a decision there and they make a decision cor correctly and the right one because a wrong decision on that starting offensive line could have uh, uh, catastrophic uh, implications in a negative way. Now, third big question the Jets are going to have to answer, it's kind of one that, you know, going into this season you thought, it shouldn't even be a question here. And that's, are the Jets going to keep tight end Jason Morrow and cornerback Dean Milner? Milner, former first-round pick. Amaro, a former second-round pick. Both guys have struggled to stay healthy in the preseason. Both guys have struggled to make an impact in the preseason. And now the Jets are kind of stuck thinking to themselves, do we want to keep younger guys instead of these veterans? Milner, of the two, is probably the guy that's more of a lock to make the roster. Amaro, I'll tell you what, it sounds like he's up in the air. Both Todd Bowles, head coach Todd Bowles, and general manager Mike McCagnan said there are some difficult decisions to be made at the tight end position. Uh, Bowles said that specifically when Amaro's name was brought up. So that doesn't, uh, it doesn't bode well for, for Amaro, and you can sort of see the writing there on the wall. For NJ Advanced Media, I am Connor Hughes.